Hey, today we're gonna to talk about heat of reaction, which is table I in your reference table. So before we do anything, get out your reference table. Table I, right here, gives us indication or information about endothermic and exothermic reactions. Endo, exo, endo, exo. Well, let's look. Endo and exo are words you may have seen before, but you don't might not know what they mean. Endo, in, exo, out. Now let's look at the other word, therm, therm. This means heat. So in other words, an endothermic reaction has heat going in, an exothermic reaction has the heat coming out. We're just gonna briefly touch, touch on this. All the information you need to know is in table I. As you look on the right column, this is the delta H. Delta H is the heat that is released. And if you look right here, delta H, read on the bottom, it says delta H values are based on molar quantities represented in the equations. If it has a minus sign, it's exothermic. If it's positive, endothermic. In other words, exothermic means that heat is given off or is coming out of the reaction and endothermic means that heat goes into the reaction. Now we're going to be doing a little bit of an experiment using this information. We're going to be testing out some of these examples and we're going to see whether things get hot or cold. We're going to do this as a lab. So now that you watch this video, you're going to look in, do some of the practice problems right over here and tell me if a reaction is endothermic or exothermic. That's it. Bye-bye.